chicken pot pie. Stay tuned, friends. I'm going to show you how to make mine. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make it together. Okay, friends, let me show you how easy it is to make. Uh, actually, I got a lot of stuff on the cutting board, friends. I got uh, two pens. I'm going to, I said, how can I do it in one pen? I can't do it in one pen. I got to have two pens. So this, I'm going to try to keep out a two pen, all right? So on one hand, I got my chicken, I got my mushrooms, my celery, and my bacon. And uh, you don't like bacon? Just don't put bacon. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Some people don't cook with bacon. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. They don't cook with bacon. They don't cook with bacon. Okay, that's one. We're going to do this in here. All right? And uh, and then over there, you get going a little harder. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I got, I'm going to make the sauce. And and the sauce is made with uh, with uh, chicken broth. I got chicken broth right there. You know, we don't use water. Okay? I don't know how some people use water. Mama me. So many people use water these days. Yeah, water, I used it to wash the car <laughs> and to take a shower. Now, I use it sometime in cooking. I, I shouldn't say that. I use it to make stock, uh, to make broth. I, I use water all the time. Nothing wrong with water. I don't want like, oh, the water department is going to be on my butt. <laughs> so over here now, we're going we're gonna to make a sauce with butter, little butter, <laughs> uh, onion, uh, flour. I got a little bit of cream. I may need a little bit more later. We're going to see about that in a minute. I got some part cooked carrots. Otherwise, they're never gonna cook in there. They're never gonna cook. So we're gonna we're gonna part cook them. And then I got uh, uh, peas over here for seasoning. I got some garlic. I got a little bit of fresh thyme, a little bit of sage, and a little bit of parsley. And got a little bit of cayenne. You know, cayenne, friends. Cayenne is different. Meaning, what do I mean by different? Cayenne is. Uh, is unique in its uh, seasoning ability. Uh, it's not like um, your regular hot sauce or your regular pepper. It's floral in many ways. It's hot and spicy, very spicy, but it's floral. It's got great flavor and unique and, and very unique and very uh, often used in, uh, in French cuisine. Not that this is French, because my mom used to make that and she's Italian, so. Um, uh, but Anyway, I digress. Let's go and make the uh, let's make the, uh, the the roux. So we melt butter. Yeah, hey, a piece of bacon in there. That's okay. We can leave it in there. Uh, you know what? Let's let's try to be clean. We're gonna put a little bit of butter. <laughs> Some of you are serious a lot about it. Don't worry. Uh, we're we're gonna work it out. Okay, we're gonna work it out. We'll do some egg the size letter. It's about uh, six ounces of butter. That's not that much, you know. We're going to make a nice pie here. And I'm probably going to have extra, but what's wrong with that, right? And then in the butter, we're going to saute some onion. Now, in the onion, I certainly could put them in here, uh, and, and I would be okay too, okay? But I'm here, I'm going to keep it uh, this way. Uh. So I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to saute the onion. And the onion in this sauce, friends, we're not going to caramelize them. We're just going to cook them until we sweat them. And, and sweating means they're going to release some of their sweetness. But we're not going to caramelize them for this dish. We're just going to sweat them. So we're going to make the roux. How do you make roux? Roux is, uh, is butter and, uh, and, and flour. So people do it with oil. That's okay, too, if that's the way they like it. I like butter better. I like butter better. butter. I like butter better. So here you go. A little flour in there, friends, and we're going to make a roux. You see? We're going to make a roux. And a roux is... Uh, Normally, equal amount of, uh, of flour, equal amount of butter. And in this case, I got uh, uh, six ounces of, uh, of butter, and I got about uh, three-quarter cup of flour. Okay, that's what I got. All right, so we're going to make that roux right there. We're going to cook this for a second. In the meantime, I'm keeping an eye on uh, over there, and I'm looking good over there, you see? Now we're going to put a chicken. We're going to use some of that fat to cook a chicken. Same deal with the chicken. We're not going to brown it, brown it, brown it. We're just going to season it, cook it in the fat. I'm going to flip this a little bit. 
There you go. Come back over here, you. All right, so far, you notice, nobody got salt and pepper, right? So far, nobody? <laughs> nobody. None of the past got salt and pepper. So we're going to change this by putting some coarse black pepper in here, in here. No, we're not putting too much black pepper because remember, I'm going to put some cayenne in there, friends. A little salt, a little salt, put a little more salt. All right? So we're looking good. Now, friends, we're going to put a stock in here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to introduce it with a whisk. And, of course, I forgot my whisk, but it's okay. I got it right there. So let's start putting a stock. Let's start putting a stock. We're going to incorporate this, and you'll see. It'll thicken beautifully. You see? I'm going to put more stock. Mm, that smells so amazing over there, friends. See, look. There you go. It smells wonderful. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. A little sick, but that's why we got stuck, friends. That's why we got stuck. All right. Everything is looking good. And then I got everything in there. We're going to put it in a minute. It's looking good. I hope I have enough stock. If I don't have enough, I know where there's more. Hmm. It's getting there. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's, good. it's looking good. It's looking really good. By doing it slowly, you don't overdo it, you see? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, friends. This is going to be delicious. I'm going to make a two. I'm going to make a, 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 a pie in the, um, uh, in, 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 a, in a pie dish, in a uh, regular pie dish, and I'm going to make them in individual also. I got this. That's if I have enough. I may not have enough. We'll see how it goes. So far, it's looking good. It's smelling amazing, let me tell you, friends. Now, I'm going to have to saute the mushrooms because I want to get rid of some of that water, so... Let's start taste some of those mushrooms in there. Now, if you don't like mushroom, skip them. Don't worry. They are not uh, uh, structural. Structural. They're celery pieces. I cut them very small. We're going to cook all this. So you notice that I uh, pre-cooked the, um, the the carrots, but I didn't pre cook the celery. Celery you don't need to, and I cut them very small. So it's all gonna be fine in here. Everybody's gonna be very happy in there, let me tell you. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that sauce on top. And of course, it's way too thick yet, and that's okay. Because that's why we got stock in here. It makes it easy if your stock is hot, but you wanna put cold stock in there? You can certainly put cold stock in there, friends. It'll work, don't worry. And then we're going to add the whole thing in there. In a minute, we're going to put some seasoning. I don't want to put the seasoning quite yet because I don't want to dry it, you see? All right, we're going to continue cooking all this. It's going to thicken a little bit more. We're going to add a little bit of cream, just a little bit of cream. Don't have to, but we never really have to add butter and cream. Oh, yeah, we do. A little sage in here, fresh sage. I like the sage. Sage is, uh, is very, uh, uh, it's it, it met for this dish. A little thyme, thyme is another very floral herbs, and it's very delicate. Thyme goes with everything. It really does. Thyme goes with everything, friends. Have you noticed? There's no, because it's not in your face like rosemary or sage. They're more like, uh, you know, you put them in there, right? You know you got sage in there. Time, you know, unless you're really, really looking for it, you don't know it's in there. It's kind, of, it's kind of like in the background. I love it. It's very delicate. All right? A little bit of cayenne. Be careful with that, boy. As wonderful as it is, if it's used in small quantity, could be overwhelming if you put too much. Right? You experience that? All right. We're going to get rid of all the water in here. We're going to continue cooking this. And the sauce... Looks fantastic. 
Looks absolutely fantastic. I just gotta cook it more. I'm gonna put a little more salt in there. I'm gonna wanna get rid of all the water. And let's see what we got, friends. Let's give it some testing. We haven't tested anything yet, so we don't know. Oh yeah, delicious. A little more salt for sure. You know, I never put cheese in a chicken pot pie, but it might be a good idea, boy. A little cheddar cheese in there, not gonna hurt you. A little Gruyere, a little Parmigiano Reggiano. There'll be nothing wrong with that. No, it's not traditional, but who said we're doing anything traditional, eh? Let's continue cooking this. I want it to be cooked. It's looking really, really good. Now we're gonna put some cream. Just a little bit of cream, okay, friends? You don't need a lot. You don't even have to put it in there if you don't want to. It's your dish. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Now, you, you, now you under, I'm sure you understand by looking at this how important it was to do it in two, 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 uh, two pans. There's no way you can do this in one pan. There's no way. No way, no way, no way, no way in the world. So now, there is a lot of school of thought of What's right thickness-wise? If it's too thin, it's going to be a little runny. If it's too thick, it's going to be not enjoyable. So this is really a matter of opinion. You do whatever makes you happy. All right? So put little peas in there. Put little carrots in there. Remember, the carrots are cooked already, right? Oh, mamma mia. I was almost going to forget the garlic. But I know they wouldn't let me forget Thank goodness. All right, here we go. Remember, you notice, right? Oh, hey, come back over here, you. Um, you notice I put the garlic, the um, the garlic at the end, right? You notice that? Because if you don't put it at the end, all right, friends. If you don't put it at the end, then you know what you got? Burn garlic. So it's up, oh, mamma mia, I almost forgot. <laughs> a little bit of uh, uh, a ground nutmeg, fresh nutmeg. Just a little bit, again, in the back. I don't want it in front. A little chopped parsley. Okay, now I got nothing in here. Okay, what do I mean by that in the back? I'll tell you, it's really important. You know, you guys are amazing, you know. The last, uh, last 22 years, 25 years, I was running the school, and I had an amazing amount of students. They were f fantastic, and I learned so much about them, and, um, and, and I learned to explain things. You know, I, I, how do I do it? It's easy. You know, I remember when I first, because remember, I was in a restaurant business my whole life, right? And, and then I opened up a cooking school. That was my uh, first retirement. I decided I'm going to retire, and then I got bored retiring, so I opened up a cooking school, right? And, and then I would teach people things, and, uh, and I would watch them, and I would write it down. I said, why are you writing it down? Oh, because then I won't forget. I said, aha. That's because I wasn't explaining myself good enough. So what happened is since I didn't explain myself good enough, they would write it down. And if they write it down, that means they didn't. They have to write it down, otherwise they wouldn't understand it. But if you understand why we're doing things, like we don't put the garlic at the beginning because we burn it. If we burn it, it's bitter. The reason why we put the, the cayenne, very little of it, or the nutmeg, very little, we want it to be in the background. What does that mean? That means when you put it in your mouth, imagine if I put too much nutmeg or too much cinnamon or too much uh, cayenne, anything, right? And you test something, it's got that in it. You know what happens? When you test it, you go, oh, mamma mia. All you test is the cayenne. All you test is the nutmeg because it's overwhelming. It's not in the background. We want it to be in the back. So you test the chicken. You test everything else. And in the back, to flavor it, we have the cayenne or we have the nutmeg. Or whatever. So when I mean in the background, I mean little, very little. Less is more when it comes to spicing and seasoning things. Okay? All right. So let me test this one more time. Friends, it's looking beautiful to me. Mm. It's hot and it needs more salt. So, voila. 
<laughs> That's an easy fix. That's another thing I need to do, folks. I need to do a show, and I've been promising you this, but we have so many other requests of shows, but I am going to do it. When is enough salt? I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. So let me do it again. Real quick, friends. No more salt. What can I tell you? You got to put what you got to put in. All right? So now. We're going to go over there. Friends, I'm not going to change it, and I know they're going to hate me over there because I'm changing, but I'm not going to do everything here, friends. I'm just going to show you what we do, okay? So I'm going to show you. I hope they can move the camera fast enough. Can they do it? Oh, they're fantastic. Look at them. They're already there. Okay. I'm going to make it in a regular pie dish, and I'm going to make it also on those individual one. So let me tell you what I'm going to do, folks. i got to explain you something here, which is very important, friends. Very important, okay? Um, I got my dough in here. We're going to use puff pastry dough. I got the dough in here, which actually I should keep it in the fridge, and I'll tell you why in a second. I'll tell you why in a second. Let me get a spoon. Okay? Now, what I do is uh, I take my, uh, um, my chicken and uh, and my peas and all the stuff that is in there, and I fill it all up. See, fill it all up. All right, and make sure you get as much as much as you can. Fill it up. Now, don't take any other juices. You don't need it unless you do need it. Unless your sauce is too thick. Mine is not too thick at all. Mine is perfect. If your juice, if your sauce is a little too thin, too thick. I'm sorry. Uh, then you have a, you, you put it over there, that juice right here. Pack it up. Oh, you come back over here. You come, come back, come back, come back. Fill it all up. You see, I'll give you the exact measurement. I promise you, folks. When I do the recipe, when I print the recipe, I'll give you the exact measurement. Okay. Now this was made just for one pie like this, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for uh, for those two guys right there. But I'm gonna continue doing this, right? Put them those guys right there. Those are for us to eat. And those are for you guys to eat right there. <laughs> so, so w w w let me explain you what we have to do now, which is very important. You know we're going to put a dough on top of this, right? We're not going to do it now, though, because I'm using puff pastry dough or any dough that you're using has got butter in it, right? And if you put it on there right now, what's going to happen is the dough is going to get soggy before you even put it in the oven. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to put it in here, and we're going to wait until it, there's no more steam coming out of it so we don't disturb the dough. Especially puff pastry, which is full of butter, and I don't want it to make the dough soggy. So I'm going to put it in here. We're going to wait until it's cool, then we're going to pour the sauce on it. Well, actually, you know what? I can pour the sauce on it now. Let me do this right now, friends. Let me do this right now. I'm going to put uh, one ladle is good. Okay, I'm going to pour the sauce. You know what? Hold on one second, friends. I think I got just a little bit too much here. I was packing it in. I don't need that much. Just a little bit less. Right? And then I'm going to put the sauce in here. You, you got enough over there. You give it over there to this guy. Okay? And we continue to do this, and then we're going to put the sauce in here. Okay? Look, look how beautiful that sauce is. <laughs> That's amazing. Take it right there. Put that sauce right in there. And then what I'll do, I'm going to wait for that sauce not to steam anymore. And when it doesn't steam anymore, then I will... And I'm going to do the same over there. All right, so I continue doing all this. And then when it's is, uh, not steaming anymore, not hot anymore, I'll, uh, I'll come back and we'll put the puff pastry dough together. Okay? So we'll be back in a few minutes when this is cool. It's going to take at least 15, 20 minutes. But for you, only a few seconds. Friends, what I almost forgot to tell you is I like to mix it all up. Uh, and, 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 you know, just mixing it all up right there to make sure it's all nice and and, uh, and, and blend it, same thing with my, uh, my individual servings right here. And uh, see, see right here, if you don't mix it, then the sauce ne don't necessarily find its way to the bottom. So yeah, I certainly could have mixed it all in there, but I didn't want to put all that juice down there because it certainly could do it. I just didn't want to put that juice down there, so I'm mixing it here. It doesn't matter when you mix it, really, whatever is more convenient for you, okay? So when it's all cool and there's no more steam, we will, um, smells amazing. When there's no more steam in there, friends, we will, um, we'll get, we'll come back and we'll put the dough, okay? We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, we are back. 
It took about 30 to 45 minutes to make sure there's no steam at all coming out. You may have a little bit of a, a skin coming out, but don't worry about that. It'll, it'll, it'll clean up, okay? So um, I, I needed to find something to make a, a, a circle. And, uh, and this guy right there, it's, uh, it fits exactly on my pie mold. So I'm going to use this guy right there uh, to cut, you see? And I'm going to go right there. And it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact because uh, you'll see I need to go a little bit over it. And uh, so what I do is I cut, I cut just a little bit around it. And, and of course, when I get here, when I get here, well, I can't get around it because uh, it's short. This is a typical uh, a sheet you buy of Perth Pastry Dough that you buy at the store, friends, you see? So I'm gonna cut it. Why is it not cutting? There you go, it's cutting. I was trying to cut the paper at the same time, which I really don't need to do that. So. That's, oh, mamma mia, looks like I've been drinking, but I haven't, I promise. Okay, so this, uh, we're gonna cut out of there. We'll use this guy later for the individual one, okay? So let's take it out of there. So now we got, we got a circle, kind of a circle. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but like I said, it doesn't matter, all right? Get out of here, you. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Remember, if you ever want to use Perth Pastry Dough again, you can, as long as you keep the layer in the same direction. I'm going to make a croissant of pastry, uh, so I'm going to show you about this. But you want to keep it the same direction because the layers are, are folded on top of each other, so you want to always keep it in the same direction. But we'll talk about this some other time. Goodbye. All right, so we're going to take the Perth Pastry right there, and what i got to do is I'm going to put it on my uh, board, but I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, bread flour. I like to put a little bit of bread flour on it because the bread flour doesn't clump up as much as a regular flour, but you can put whatever flour you want on here. It doesn't matter. We're gonna put just a little bit of flour, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna spread it out. Just uh, I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. One way. And I'm gonna spread it out the other way, just a little bit. Because puff pastry dough can get too thick sometimes, and it doesn't take forever to cook, okay? And we don't wanna do that. So now, friends, we're gonna make a little egg wash. I got egg yolks and a little bit of cream. Some people put water in there, but you know, you know what I think about water. So <laughs> you can put water, put whatever you want. Look, it works the same. What we're gonna do now, friends, I'm gonna take a, a, a brush and we're gonna brush around it. It's very important that we are generous with this, friends. Okay, because this is what's gonna stick the dough. The dough is gonna stick, so it's not gonna react, it's not gonna retract on us. We stick the dough here, you see? So you get a little bit of egg on your hand, big deal, right? Right? Now also, another thing too, very important, friends, don't fill up the, uh, the pie dough too much, otherwise, you don't have room to, uh, to put your egg wash right here. So fill it up a little bit less. I had to fill it up a little too much earlier. So don't do that. Make sure it's all the way around it, right? Boom, 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 boom. Just like this, right? Now I better clean your hand now. And you're gonna put the dough right on there. And we're gonna try to be as clean as we can. And we're gonna go right on there and we're gonna put our dough. So now we fold the dough in there, you see? And the dough is gonna stick, my friends, because of the, of the egg, the glue right there, right? So far, so good, right? Pretty simple. One, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. If you have to put it a little bit, put it a little bit, like I'm doing here, see? Put it a little bit, careful, no hole now. There you, come back over here, you. All right, so now, let's put a couple of decoration in here. You know, I guess if I do this, I'm not gonna have enough for, uh, so let me use the little pieces here because otherwise I'm not gonna have enough to do those guys right there. You see? So let me put a couple of uh, thing here. Let's see, here you go. Cookie cutter, right? We'll go like this. Put this in the middle. There you go. There you go. Voila, 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 voila. All right? Let's take the whole thing. And let's be generous with this, okay? Uh -oh. Let's be generous with this, friends. This is what's gonna make it beautiful, eh? You see? Now, it still has to be filled, obviously, all the way, otherwise the dough is gonna sink. 
Now you understand the whole purpose of, uh, of not having the dough so hot. I mean, the, um, the, the, the pie uh, mixture, the butter so hot, hot, otherwise your dough will be uh, steaming right now and sugging already, sugging, sugging? I'm not sure that's the right word, but you have it right there. All right, so we're looking good, friends. You know, and I'm always trying to make those things video fast, but not always easy. Uh, we're gonna leave it alone. We're not gonna mess too much. We're just gonna do a couple of quick little thing here. Couple of quick thing. I always say, oh, I'm not gonna do this too long. Just a quick little thing like this. Look, look, see? Takes two seconds, right? And it makes the video a little bit longer, but it's no big deal, right? Most of my subscribers don't mind. Some of them do, but uh, they're in a hurry, those people. We're not in a hurry, right, friends? Look, look. Oh, boy, boy, do I have another? Yeah, I have another piece. So you know what's gonna happen, eh? I'm not gonna have enough dough to decorate the little guy, but I just have enough to decorate the big one. All right, well, it is what it is. There we go, right there, boom, boom, boom. All right, let it soak in for a minute. All right, boom, boom. One, two, three. One, two, three, here you go. And we're gonna pop this guy in the oven, right? And that's it. So take your time to do a little better. I didn't know. I don't know if I did a really good job yet, but here you go. I can't see on the other side, but I'm assuming that it's okay. It, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's get this guy out of the way. Let's make one of those on camera for everybody to see, and I'll do the other one off camera. Let me just cut it in half. We'll do the same thing here, friends. Let's put a little bit of uh, flour right there. So what do we got here? Oh, we're gonna put the whole thing. I'm not even gonna cut it. I'm not even gonna cut it. I'm not gonna cut it. I may, maybe I make a little bit of a circle. Hey, you, come back over here. You see? Just like this. Just like this. And that's all gonna cook anyway. It's all gonna be perfect. What we want to do, though, is we don't want to put too much of it. But the, uh, you know what I could do? Cut this right there, cut this right there. So I don't have too much to deal with, right? Put it right on there. Let it absorb it all. Just like this, friends. You see? Put it in there. Well, guess what? We'll have to do the other one later because I don't have enough dough. So I'll just do one real quick. Voila, put it on there, I'll just do one, we'll do the other one later on. I'll do it <laughs> later, I gotta get some more dough out. You see, here we go friends, just like this. Make sure you got it all the way around it. And we're gonna put this guy in the oven. Now this is a more elegant way to serve it. This is a more elegant way to serve it. Don't take that much longer if you have a cool a uh, container, I mean, a soup bowl kind of it. I'll use those uh, to make the onion soup. For those of you that have seen the onion soup, if you haven't seen it, it's a cool video. It's in the, it's, it was in our old kitchen, all right? So then we clean this guy up a little bit. If you don't clean, it's gonna be a mess. So clean it up, friends. Clean it up now, it's easy to clean it up. If you try to clean it up later, good luck. <laughs> good luck cleaning it up. And guess what? I'll have to do the other one later. We take those, we're going to 400 degree oven, and friends, we will be back when they're out of the oven. Okay, friends, remember you gotta cook at least 30 minutes, 400, that's the temperature that puff pastry cooks. And here we go, I fixed up the other one, and uh, oh baby, don't drop him, whatever you do. <laughs> don't drop him, whatever you do, no, 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 no. Oh, baby, look at this. Look at this, my friends. Beautiful. I like this setup better. There ain't nothing wrong with this setup, but uh, this is kind of classy, don't you think? Really beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So, um, I'm going to let them rest a little bit because there's no way I'm getting into it at this temperature, friends. It'll be way too hot. So, I'm going to let them cool a little bit so we can cut into it. And uh, we can eat it, okay? So 
Go let them rest about, uh, it's so hot, about 10, 15 minutes, we're at 400 degrees, so <laughs> we're gonna let them rest about 15 minutes, so then we can cut into it and then see what it looks like on the inside, okay? All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes, friends. All right, friends, well, I let it cook. It's too many times, it's too so hot, you can't even test it anyway. If, if we test food, it's too hot, we can't test it, so gotta let it cool. I, I just sprinkle a little bit of pasta on it, um, you know, it's really up to you. I, I think it's gonna look kind of cool, but uh, all we're gonna do basically at this point, if we wanna make halfway of a, of a portion, but really to be elegant, the only way to be elegant, my friends, is to do the individual serving. Whereas you can't really be elegant so what I do is I, I slice the, the the dough out of there, and uh, and I basically just take it, come back over here, you, and uh, and leave it right there on the side, and then basically I'm going to take a, a spoon out of there, and oh, it's gorgeous! Look at this, it really is. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm telling you, for you, you follow the recipe. It's absolutely gorgeous, right there, and uh, and at this point. Um, bon appetit, yeah? <laughs> Look at this. I mean, uh, right there. So I'm going to help myself to a little bit of it. And uh, and the dough is cooked fine, perfectly fine, because it was thin enough. And it was in there for 30 minutes, so it's not an issue. And it's still... Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. I love my life. Mm. Love you guys. I'm telling you, this is amazing. I'm sorry that I get to do this. You know, I'm retired. If I didn't do this for you guys, I may not do this for myself. So, uh, mm. Mm. so this is more the family style serving. Still quite acceptable, but also, oh, whoop, not too hot. The, um, the individual serving, what you could do for your guests, or you can let them do it themselves, is take a little paring knife and, uh, and cut a nice little circle in there, you see? And before it falls in, we want to grab it. And uh, voila, oh, wow, check this out, friends. How cool is that looking? You see, look at it. So, so at this point, you know, look at this, just like this. How cool is that for a serving? How cool would that be? I mean, you can eat it with a fork, you can eat it with a spoon. This, my friend, is an elegant way to serve a chicken pot pie. I hope you love this video. I certainly love making it for you. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. We'll see you in the next couple of days with another fantastic video. Thanks for watching.